Now, if you're working along, and I hope you are, return to the inertia documentation and scroll down to the bottom, and we're gonna take a look at progress indicators. You'll see right here, inertia provides an optional progress library, which shows a loading bar whenever you make an inertia visit. That is what we want. Okay, so to use it, we need to install it through NPM. So let me exit out of Mix, pull that in, and then what next? Initialize it in your app, so we import it, and then we call inertiaprogress.init. And also take note while we're here, you can override certain options if you want, like the color of the loading bar or whether a spinner will display. Okay, so let's go to phpstorm into our app.js. We're gonna pull in inertia progress. And then finally down here at the bottom, inertia progress.init. And I think that should do it. So let's boot up our Webpack Watcher again and back to Firefox. Refresh the page and if I click on users, we have a two second delay, but notice you saw that little indicator at the top. One more time, go to users, one, two, and now the user has just a little more feedback. Now, like I said, if you want, you can override some of the options, like maybe you want the color to match your site branding. Let's just say it's red uh, for brevity. Refresh, go to users, and now you'll see a red loading bar. Okay, why don't we also add a spinner? So show spinner is true. By default, it's false. And we should see it right up here in the top right. Refresh the home page, go to users, and have a look right there. So now you have a loading bar and then also a spinner in the top right. And in fact, if you go to Laracast for any long running pages that are a little more complicated, you will see that loading indicator there. Useful.